and yeah this is the follow on from the uh, from all of this that doctor will probably get paid more in that one day than I'll get in a week probably for that one day's turning up and saying oh this person's fit to work and that person's not fit to work and no that person's not fit to work and whatever they'll probably get paid by the state more than I'll get in a week probably more than I get in two weeks if the truth be told and um, it feels like vulnerable adults are just cash cows for all these people you know all these department works and pensions oh you're wearing work all week we deserve holidays abroad because they're on quite good salaries and yet well I don't want you know we should have the right to say look excuse me I do not ever want to go back there again because a I've had your doctors lie about me in the past and I've had parliamentary ombudsmen uh, fiddle the uh, reports that they made because they couldn't decide well excuse me there's a colon there and there's a coal on there and that means the bit that I said because I left them a sheet because I've had previous ones you know lie about what I've said as well so housing I am asking for political asylum in an EEC country where my cannabis usage is not a criminal offence so that maybe just maybe I can grow enough that I can have it as a food stuff and maybe just try all these um, stop smoking things because if you look at the state of me now you can tell that you know my lungs ain't functioning properly anymore but um, I find it better than the prescribed antidepressants that I've had from the medical profession you know I've had, um, what was it called now? Siroxat. I've had Siroxat out for the medical profession. And they know for years that, uh, excuse me, we seem to have a lot of kids suiciding when they're taking this shit. And they'd had adults suiciding when they were taking that. And they were still dishing it out. Well, I find the only thing that keeps me from stopping suiciding it's daily use of cannabis. Sorry, Mr. Brown. Sorry, Mr. Morgan, that don't fit in your world view. Sorry if it keeps me from driving cars and lorries and stuff like that, working machinery or whatever. But then, I how I can ride a bike on it, isn't it? There's yeah, some myths. There was a BBC program on there, BBC Radio Wales, about um, drug drivers. Well, you know, I can ride a friggin' bike. Two splits I've had today. And um, I can ride a bike really well. And I would really like to see them doing some kind of um, car test with me in it, driving. Because I'm damn sure that I'd be as good as some of the um, drivers that I see on the road, if not a hell of a lot better. So there's all those myths and stuff to um, challenge. But yeah, political asylum in an easy country in the block. I've put in there that um, we have kids in this country come to stay and they stay in family homes in Cardiff. France, Portugal, God knows who, who, where. Somebody's organized that for them because they stay in homes. They're not staying in a university complex or whatever like that. They're staying in homes. I know of university professors and artists who have the same deal done for them. Somebody somewhere is organizing them staying in another university area or whatever. They find a place for them to live and, and they go to that university maybe for a year or whatever or the artist goes and stays there for six months or whatever and they find them what properties before they get there and it's all sorted out. I'd like that done for me. 
I don't see why not. There's not many people asking for political asylum in an EC country where their cannabis usage is not criminalized, is there? And why, why oh why, some solicitor in court when a client's being charged with cannabis possession doesn't ask for that baffles me. It really baffles me because there are countries in the EU where their client would not be in prison for that offence would not be being fined for that offence and they should ask for political asylum for them and then maybe the uh, police would go oh my god what's the point in busting these people and then maybe we could grow our own maybe we could have a little bit more money to uh, spend and if the water company weren't taking 11 91 out of my benefit per week the 87 over, uh, overspend that I, I've paid to him over the last 95 days could have gone towards new shoes because me toes are coming off these ones better food each week <laughs> that um, two was it two veg and three fruit oh, that's a mystery so challenging yeah I know there's a lot of people out there who say, oh, you lazy scumbag, mother, whatever, because I have their comments and I choose not to put them up on my site because they're mostly vicious, nasty people who've never put a video together ever, haven't got a thought of their own, just a vicious and nasty. It's a prejudiced, you know? I don't know anybody who does as much shit as I do on behalf of um, vulnerable adults. I don't know anybody that's that mind. they got an organization called Mind in this country. Have you ever come across that, where you are in your country? They never, um, as far as I'm aware, take on board these issues as a lobbying group. And yet, they're all doing very nicely. Are their little organization looks nice on their CV. I work for Mind for a year. What's the time now? Up. Seven minutes, 17 seconds. So, uh... I think they get money under false pretenses and how the hell they don't have solicitors in their branch offices, you know, a solicitor who they employ on behalf of their client groups, baffles me, who specializes in issues with regard to mental health patients. It baffles me why they haven't. I mean, they get enough money going through their um, system from the look of things, and the uh, chief promoters are getting 80 odd grand a year and all of that malarkey. Why don't they have solicitors on their books? Because most of their clients are going to have issues, like water company issues. That so maybe a solicitor or a barrister could uh, really argue on their behalf. Like, is a house a subdivided property that doesn't conform to minimum building standards illegal for a county council to let? Because I've asked that question over and over and over again of all different people and nobody but nobody will give me a yes or no response. Isn't that amazing? I gotta wrap this video up with a 10 minute thing on YouTube. Oh God, is there anybody out there who's got a laptop computer that they're willing to ship to me for nothing? So I can do some video editing? I'd like to do that video editing, I'd like to learn how to compress them so I could get like half an hour of videos on one. Because I've seen some on there on YouTube and they last half an hour when people have uploaded them. I'd like to learn how to do that. But I don't see any courses on that. There we go. That's the nine minutes. Gotta be up.